now, the only mouse who can be in Florida and California at the same time, Mickey Mouse! Hi-ho, hi-ho, everybody! And speaking of being in two places at the same time, has anybody seen Tweedledee and Tweedledum? Who? Talk about your two of a kind. We're very different. Anyway, we've got a great show. And now, so many. I hear a critic will be reviewing your club tonight. Tonight? Nobody told me a critic was coming. A critic is coming? Oh, my gosh. Who is this critic anyway? Well, whoever the critic is, everything has to be extra perfect. All right, brooms. I want this place spotless. Do you hear me? Spotless. All right, everybody move along. This table is reserved for someone important. Which? That's not. Ooh, just right. Of all the clubs that one might review, the House of Mouse is the fairest, it's true. <gasps> oh, he's here. The critic is here. Okay, remember, everybody. Whatever the critic wants, give it to him. Whoa, where is the fire? Now this is riding in style. Excuse me, Mr. Critic? Huh? Mortimer, you're the critic? Um, uh, well, uh, of course I am. And you better give me whatever I want, or I'll write you a bad critic. Oh, no. Coming right up, we got a swell Donald Duck cartoon. Donald Duck? Yuck! How about a cartoon starring me? Huh. Oh, well, whatever the critic wants, here's a swell Mortimer Mouse cartoon. Mortimer. What do you got there? It's my new fax machine. A fax machine? <laughs> what do you need a fax machine for? Why to fax people? What do you think? Like who? Like none of your business. Hmm. Ha-cha-cha. Then why don't you fax me sometime, chum? Ha-ha-ha-ha. <laughs> a fax machine. This thing's gonna be a cinch to use. Ha cha cha, why don't you fax me sometime? Ooh, I'll fax him to a lousy rat. You stink. I don't like you. Ha cha cha. Sincerely, Mickey. That'll show him. Oh, gee, I almost forgot why I bought this thing. Minnie. To my sweetheart, I can't live without you. You're the best. Love, Mickey. Oh, boy, this thing's a snap. Oh, hello, Mortimer. Ah, oh, Mick, ain't you the sweet one? I had no idea you couldn't live without me. Let's be pals. What? How'd you get this? Ah, don't be so modest. You sent it to me, see? But if you got this fax, then that means... Oh, my gosh. Catch you later, pal. I sent Minnie the wrong fax. She's gonna think I don't like her. Hi, this is Minnie. Hiya, Minnie. <laughs> Listen, Sorry I... Sorry I missed your call. I've gone shopping, so leave a message after the giggle. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. If I can just get to Minnie's while she's shopping, I can get that fax before she reads it. Oh, look, a fax. Oh, no, I'm too late. Well, I could read it now, <laughs> but I won't. 
won't. I'm late for my bow appointment. I'll just take it with me. Wait, Minnie! Well, ha-cha-cha. -cha. Hey, pal, need a lift? No, I... So what say we hit a movie, chum? Look, Mortimer, about the facts. It was a mistake. I never should have sent it to you. So, we're breaking up, eh? Is that it? Uh, yeah. Fine. Then get out of my car, you fickle Freddy. Snatcher. Yeah? Well, I am. And you're cutting into my territory. Hey, that belongs to Minnie. It's mine now. <laughs> Ouch! I say give it here. I'll give it to you, all right. Ouch! My bunion! Ow, 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 ow. Uh, uh. Okay, pal, you're taking a trip downtown. But, Ossifer, he stole it first. A likely story. Mickey Mouse stealing his own girlfriend's purse. <laughs> Never heard such malarkey. Oh, Mickey! Oh, you got my purse back. There you go. <laughs> Safe and sound. Oh, I almost forgot my facts. The facts? Wait! What for? Minnie, watch out for purse snatchers in the area. Signed, Daisy. Daisy? Well, then who got the facts I sent? Huh? What did I ever do to him? Bravo! That cartoon was magnifique! Magna Wow! What are you talking about? That cartoon was great! Stupid candle. Hey, Goofball! Bring on some more of those 101 crustaceans! But you've eaten all the lobster! Every last one! So, trying to cheat me out of a meal, eh? You better find me shellfish and fast. Uh, yes, sir! <laughs> Sorry, Sebastian, but whatever the critic wants, we give it to him. This never happens under DC. Hey, come back here. Hey, do I? Can I help you? Sure, you can stop by taking those marbles out of your mouth. <laughs> Seriously, the company's lousy in this dump. Go fetch some cuties to sit with me, will you? Remember, whatever I want, give it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Donald, have you seen Minnie? Oh, uh, she's out there. Ha-cha-cha. -cha. When I asked for a couple of cuties, I didn't think I'd end up with such beauty. Still working on your shellfish. Well, that's no good scoundrel. Don't you have any entertainment in this dump? Hey, make with the show. You heard the critic. Huey, Dewey, and Louie are up next. No, no, no. We want some real entertainment. The entertainment is excellent. It is you who are annoying. Indeed. Do you mind? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do mind, Stripey. Somebody get Tigger's evil twin here a bala yarn. What this place needs is some comedy. How about a roast? I can accommodate you. Okay, then. 
Coming up later, we'll have a celebrity roast. Right now, though, let's hear it for three no-talent ducks. Hmm, we gotta do something about that Mortimer. Stay away from me with that jingle hopper. Enough music, I'm getting bored. Play a mini cartoon, just for my girl, Minnie. Hey! Sure, Mortimer. Whatever the critic wants, we give it to him. Superb cartoon and an extraordinary meal. What do you know? You made a wax. Say, Cindy, you looking for a shoe? I got one your size. Look at me, I'm Dumbo. Ah. Ooh, we've got to do something. I know, but we can't chance a bad review. But Mickey, the food is exquisite. The show flawless. I would never give you a bad review. Review? You're the critic? Does that mean Sebastian ain't gonna be Mortimer's dinner? Yes, that's exactly what it means. Shalalaman! I thought for certain I was gonna have to kiss the grill. Mickey, if you wish to give that imposter a taste of his own medicine, I say, be my guest. Ha! And have I got a plan. And now it's time to give the critic what he wants. It's the House of Mouse Celebrity Roast. Oh, boy, this is gonna be great. I wonder what poor Schnook is getting roasted. And our roasty is Mortimer Mouse. How delightful. Oh, be quiet, Mr. Cat Food. You better not roast me. I'll write a lousy review. You? <laughs> write a review? Ah, oh, Mortimer, you couldn't write a shopping list. <laughs> Shopping list! Hey, lady, I found the tramp. Oops, it's only Mortimer. <laughs> I heard Mortimer auditioned to be the eighth dwarf. Cheesy. And here's your dessert. Cheesy. <laughs> I'll have you all fired. Au contraire, it is you who are to be fired. Out. <laughs> Here's that Donald Duck cartoon I promised you. Hey, 
The Cubs versus the Bears. The three bears and the woman who loves them. The Bear Necessities Channel. for our big review. It is my great honor as the real critic to bestow upon the House of Mouse the highest of recommendations. It has been my pleasure to be your guest. Wow! 
Thank you very much, Mia. Aw, uh, thanks, folks. <laughs> but I couldn't have done it without my crew. Okay, Mike, take us out of here. House of Mouse Review, courtesy of Lumiere's Dining by Candlelight. Looking for a romantic cafe or a tip on a cozy bistro without the angry villagers? Lumiere reviews everything from the friendliest honey tasting events to the maddest of tea parties. It's Lumiere's Dining by Candlelight. He's been their guest. Now see if they pass his test. Lumiere does not review restaurants under the sea. Until next time, I give each of you two ears up. <laughs> so long. <laughs>